Think of the world's most fabulous creations, technological advancements, and futuristic lives. If America comes to your mind, good job, Hollywood. Propaganda successful. It's actually China. While the U.S. was busy being the richest, most innovative, and most successful on film, China quietly got to work in real life. These 14 construction projects prove they're not just ahead. They've rewritten the rules. Number 14. Shanghai Astronomy Museum Space is vast. Understanding it is tough, but making people feel it nearly impossible. That's what China cracked with the Shanghai Astronomy Museum, the largest of its kind in the world. No straight lines, no right angles. Just flowing curves and orbital paths are designed to mimic the movement of celestial bodies. You walk into this place and feel like you've left Earth. It's not just big, it's immersive. There's a suspended planetarium, a walk-through black hole, and a solar telescope towering over 75 feet high. Every detail is engineered to reflect the cosmos, not just to teach astronomy, but to simulate it. While most countries rely on YouTube videos to inspire the next generation, China built a physical gateway to space. Number 13. Beijing Daxing International Airport Airports are usually where innovation goes to die. Long lines, endless walking, outdated terminals. But Beijing's Daxing Airport is the opposite. Built in just four years, this place handles 200,000 passengers a day with almost no wait time. It's AI-optimized. Bag claims take under 13 minutes, and its starfish layout means fewer steps between check-in and gate. Even its design has a purpose. The curved roof brings in natural light, reducing energy use. It looks futuristic because it is. While the U.S. is still debating how to renovate terminals built in the 1960s, China quietly built one of the smartest airports on Earth. Not as a concept, as a reality. Number 12. Inflatable Construction Domes Construction comes with chaos, noise, dust, pollution. In cities packed wall-to-wall -wall with residents, this becomes a nightmare. China saw the problem and wrapped it literally. They started using giant inflatable domes over active construction sites. These structures trap the dust, mute the noise, and keep air quality intact. It's like watching a building grow inside a sealed bubble. Inside, the air is filtered. Outside, you wouldn't even notice major construction happening. The technology isn't expensive. It's just smart. While many countries are still handing out fines for site pollution, China quietly invented a solution that works for both workers and neighbors. Number 11. AICT 3D Printed Park Urban parks take time, concrete needs pouring, structures need curing, and there are any changes in design. That's a disaster. But China threw out the entire playbook when it built a 60,000-square-foot park using 3D printing and finished it in just two and a half months. Benches, walkways, and barriers are all printed with flowing, futuristic curves. It wasn't just fast. It was elegant. Giant robotic arms laid down concrete like icing on a cake. Every structure was lightweight, strong, and customized. No molds, no formwork, just code and concrete. In a world where parks take years and cost millions, China built one in weeks using machines. Number 10. Han Li Shikamin Complex Relocation Historic buildings usually have two fates, stay put or get torn down. But in China, engineers came up with a third option. They made a building walk. The Han Li Shikamin Complex, an 8,000-ton historical structure, stood in the way of a critical subway expansion. So instead of demolishing it, China lifted the entire building and used robotic legs to slowly move it out of the way, then moved it back once construction was done. No cranes, no disassembly. Just be careful synchronized hydraulic steps. It looked surreal, like a five-story building taking a stroll. Preservation without sacrifice. Engineering with respect. Number 9. Self-healing concrete in Shanghai highways. Water gets in, freezes, expands, and destroys. Roads crack. Bridges break. Every country spends billions patching it up. But China found a workaround by giving its concrete the ability to heal itself. They used bacteria. Yes, bacteria. Mixed into the concrete, these microbes stay dormant until a crack appears and water seeps in. Then they wake up and start producing limestone, sealing the damage automatically. No workers needed. No closures. No repeat repairs. It's already working on highways in Shanghai. It's cheaper, smarter, 
and unbelievably futuristic. While most of the world waits for things to break before reacting, China made concrete that reacts on its own. Number 8. Modular Sky City Building a skyscraper usually takes years. Weather delays, labor issues, and concrete cure times all add up. But China went a completely different route. In Changsha, they built a 57-story skyscraper in just 19 days. How? Modular prefabrication. Every part of the building was made off-site and snapped together like oversized Lego bricks. Precision parts, ready to go, assembled on demand. Floors were added at a rate of three per day. The result wasn't flimsy or rushed. It was earthquake-resistant, energy-efficient, and incredibly stable. They call it Mini Sky City, and the company behind it plans to build even taller using the same method. Remember, not decades, not years, but days. Number 7. Taihu Underwater Tunnel Imagine driving under a lake that supplies water to 30 million people. That's the Taihu Underwater Tunnel, China's longest and widest passage beneath a freshwater lake. Building a road beneath it wasn't just difficult, it was risky. One crack, one slip-up, and the entire ecosystem above could be contaminated. So, how did China pull it off? They used electric vehicles to minimize emissions, built enclosed concrete mixing stations to prevent dust, installed real-time sensors to monitor structural pressure as the tunnel formed. Even the ventilation shafts were built to resemble local art, a conch, and a traditional boat. They didn't just make a tunnel, they made it invisible, quiet, beautiful, and safe. Number 6. Fosun Foundation Cultural Center Most buildings serve one function. They sit there, unchanged, but the Fosun Cultural Center shifts with time literally. Its facade moves, slowly opening and closing depending on the weather, time of day, and event happening inside. These kinetic panels are programmable. They reveal stages, create shade, or expose beautiful views based on what's needed. It's art, architecture, and robotics fused into one. This isn't just about flair. Its functionality is in motion. Instead of building multiple stages or configurations, China made one shape-shifting structure. It saves space, energy, and still leaves visitors stunned. Number 5. Dalian Jinsuan Floating Airport Island. Land is expensive. Expansion is political. So what do you do when your city needs a massive new airport, but there's no space left? You build it on water. That's what China did off the coast of Dalian. They're constructing the world's largest floating airport, an entirely artificial island designed to handle millions of passengers. It's not just sitting in shallow waters. It's engineered to resist typhoons, shifting currents, and decades of erosion. While most countries debate expansions to old airports, China created new land entirely. They started in 2011. The airport is on track to open in 2026. It's clean, bright, and strategically built, not just for today, but for 50 years from now. Number 4. The Yanggu 3D Printed Dam Dams are massive, complex, dangerous to build. But what if you could construct one without a single human laying bricks? That's what China is doing on the Tibetan Plateau. The Yanggu Dam is the world's first mega dam built entirely using 3D printing and autonomous machinery. Bulldozers, cranes, and trucks, all AI-controlled, all working 24-7 with no breaks, no weather complaints, no fatigue. At nearly 600 feet tall, this isn't some science fair demo. It's a serious piece of infrastructure designed to generate clean energy in record time. The entire project will be completed in under two years. That's faster, cheaper, and safer than anything built the old way. Number 3. Baihetan Hydropower Station The Hoover Dam changed America's west, but China's Baihetan project makes it look like a warm-up. This hydropower station generates three times more electricity than Hoover. It uses underground halls so big you could park 13 Boeing 737s inside. Engineering? Insane. Earthquake-resistant turbines. Caverns are carved deep into mountains. Flow control systems that operate with millimeter precision. Baihatan isn't just a dam. It's a clean energy mega factory, built faster than expected, powered by nature. It was designed to last for a century. While much of the world still burns coal, China stacked mountains and rivers into a machine that powers cities without smoke or noise. Number 2. Huajiang Canyon Bridge There are bridges. 
Then there's the Huajiang Canyon Bridge, which, when completed, will be the highest in the world, standing more than 2,000 feet above the canyon floor. Building at that height is nearly impossible. You can't use regular cranes. Winds are brutal. One miscalculation could send tons of steel falling miles down. China built its own cable crane system, the largest on Earth, and guided it with satellites for pinpoint precision. Each truss weighed 21,000 tons. Each placement had to be perfect. They even built a neural monitoring system, so the bridge knows when it's stressed or flexing too much. It's not just high, it's aware. Number 1. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Let's end with the one that breaks every rule. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge isn't just a bridge. It's a network of roads, tunnels, and islands spanning 34 miles of open sea. The hardest part? A six-mile tunnel is placed beneath deep, shifting waters. To do it, engineers floated 33 segments, each the size of an eight-story building, and sank them to millimeter-level precision. Waves, wind, tides, they beat them all. The structure connects three major cities and includes artificial islands to stabilize and support traffic. It handles typhoons, earthquakes, and 120 years of use without breaking a sweat. Over 1,000 new patents were created just to make this bridge happen. Not extensions of existing knowledge, but new inventions. Where most countries look at a strait and say, not possible, China builds a highway under it, and over it, at the same time. So here's what it comes down to. China isn't announcing plans, they're finishing them. While others are still drafting proposals and holding press briefings, China is flipping the switch on airports, tunnels, and bridges that the rest of the world hasn't even dared to imagine. The question isn't whether China is 100 years ahead, it's whether the US is just 100 years behind and… too comfortable to admit it?